Hi everyone, welcome back to Living a Balanced Life with Julio. On today's episode, we're going to talk about natural ways that you can clean your lungs, improve your respiratory system using roots and herbs, plus one more addition that can help you continue to function, especially in today's world where COVID continue to be a threat to us. If you're interested, please stay with me. Your lungs are part of your respiratory system. It's a group of organs and tissues that work together to help you breathe. The respiratory system main job is to move fresh air into your body while removing waste gases. Every cell in your body needs oxygen in order to live. The air we breathe contains oxygen and other gases. Once it's in the lungs, your lungs move the oxygen into the bloodstream and carry through your body. At each cell in your body, oxygen is exchanged for a waste gas called carbon dioxide. Your bloodstream then carries this waste gas back into your lungs where it's removed from the bloodstream and then exhaled. Your lungs and respiratory system automatically perform these vital processes called gas exchange naturally. But there are many diseases and conditions that can affect the way our respiratory system and our lungs works to get oxygen into our vital organs in our body. Lung diseases are any problem in the lungs that prevent the lungs from working properly. There are three main types of lung diseases. There's airway disease, lung tissue disease, and lung circulation diseases. All this means is that your lungs and your airways are not not able to work properly due to inflammation, restriction, blocking of the airways due to mucus in the lungs, and so forth. Taking care of your lungs is one of the best ways of taking care of your whole body because all your vital organs require oxygen that is needed to function. So in this video, I'm going to talk about nine herbs and roots that can help you clean your lungs naturally boost your immune system, and also help with inflammation in the body, whatever it may be, to help you improve your overall health. Please make sure to watch the video to the end because there's one food item that most people overlook. It's also very important to lung health. So let's get into the nine roots and herbs that can help cleanse your lungs naturally to boost your respiratory health to improve your overall health. Number one, thyme. Thyme has antiseptic, mucus cleaning, and antibacterial action. Thyme contains an essential oil called thermol and contains flavonoid as well. These are all antioxidants that helps your body get rid of free radicals that can cause inflammation in in the lungs and in the lung tubes that can make breathing very difficult. Thyme is a great herb that contains high level of vitamin C, vitamin A, copper, iron, manganese, potassium, phosphorus and antioxidant. Time and help fight respiratory infections and it's a natural expectorant. Means that it loosens the phlegm and the mucus in the lung tubes so you can be coughed out easily. It's also good for soothing cough and fighting nasal congestion. If you want to get the benefit of time, you can prepare it as a tea form, put it in hot water for 10 minutes, let it simmer, and then you can strain and drink it. And this will give you all the benefits that you need to loosen up your phlegm and clear your lungs so you can breathe better, get the oxygen to the vital organs that you need in order to function properly. Time is also used for swelling, inflammation of the main um, airways in the lungs, which is the, um, the bronchioles. So once again, it helps with bronchitis. Time can help fight respiratory infection. And it also serves as an antiseptic and helps expulse mucus. It is also good for soothing cough. Prepare a tea with time, seep it hot water for about 10 minutes, let it simmer, and then you can strain it and drink it. And this is a good way to fight decongestion, um, clean up your airway from mucus, um, and improve um, your lung health so you can breathe easily. Tip. If you're cooking with thyme, try to add it towards the end of your cooking process so you can get all the benefits. So number two, let's go to ginseng. Ginseng is a great plant that can help alleviate some of the respiratory issues that you may have. There are many types of ginsengs. There's white ginseng, there's red ginseng. Any ginseng that you prefer, you can use because all of them are good for you and contain the same um, active ingredient, ginsenocytes, which help with respiratory illness. But when you drink ginseng tea or use ginseng extract, not only does it help with respiratory 
and lung, which is what we're talking about, but it also benefit um, in terms of with blood pressure, it helps lower blood pressure and therefore improve cardiovascular health. Some studies is found to reduce the development of lung cancer. So ginseng is all around a good route to use because it helps uh, with improving your overall health, boosting your immune system, relaxing the lung muscles and the vessels in your body so it can help you breathe easy and improve your blood pressure, therefore benefit your heart health. Number three on the list is harhound plant. Harhound is traditionally used as an expectorant for upper respiratory infection with cough, whooping cough, and bronchitis. It's an expectorant herb that means that it helps loosen up mucus in the chest so it could be removed easily. Harhound can be made into a tea for consumption and this will help alleviate respiratory symptoms that's associated with bronchitis and some acute respiratory issues like asthma. Ha hound is a perennial plant um, that means if you plant them it come back every year so you don't have to replant them. It grows very widely like a weed so if you have space in your garden you can plant them and make teas with them. You can cook with them. And they're essentially, like I've explained, very good for you. Um, it's good for chronic respiratory issues as well as, well as uh, acute. So it's good for treating colds, relieving cough, and symptoms of bronchitis. So this is a good plant to have in your herbal garden if you haven't grown them. You can grow them in a pot and you can make benefit of it. Um, how you do it is you herb for a year, make, make tea, put them in your food, and and you can also add them to, if it's fresh, you can add them to salads and stuff like that. Just make sure. Hair hound can also be made into candy. So if you're not able to make it, you can buy from the grocery store to suit your sore throat, relieve cough, and relieve mucus. Number four on the list is Osha Roots. Osha roots are essential and it's very powerful antiviral, antibacterial agent that can help improve your lung health. Osha roots was chewed to increase endurance by North and Southern American natives. This is probably because of Osha's positive contribution to healthy respiratory system. The Native American Indians' parents even wrapped Osha roots and leaves and they will put it beside a newborn baby to purify the air to boost their respiratory and lung health. If you have not tried it yet, it could be chewed, you know, cleaned and chewed, the benefit that way, or you can make tea, it could be crumbled up and you can make uh, steep tea from it, strain it and you can drink it. These are all good ways to improve your respiratory health, enhance your breathing and therefore boost your overall health. Osha root can also provide benefit for people that suffer from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD patients. This plant root is native to Rocky Mountains of North America, like I said earlier, and it contains uh, camphor or other natural chemicals that may boost your circulation to the lungs. So it improves circulation to the lungs and therefore improve respiratory function. Osha root is also, also has antibacterial and antiviral properties. Osha root is sometimes used to prevent infection because it is thought to have antibacterial and antiviral properties. It has been applied directly to wound to help heal the wound and people that suffer from adoviral infections. And also it has anti-inflammatory properties and therefore can help support the health of healing respiratory condition from cold, common cold, the tonsillitis, flu, and other types of viral infections um, in the body and in the lung. Although Osho root doesn't have a direct antihistamine action, its effect is similar. So when you use Osho root during the time where you have flare-ups like head cold or respiratory flare-ups, this can help control the respiratory illnesses and the symptoms. One of the benefit of Osho root that is very important to note is the numbing effect. So Osho root has a numbing effect. So if someone is suffering from sore throat where your throat is really sore, um, when you cough or when you breathe, chewing Osho root or making herbal tea from it can help soothe your throat and help relieve some of the symptoms of sore throat. So add that to your herbal um, tea list if you haven't tried it yet and try it. Number five on the list is eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a great lung cleanser that can help improve respiratory health. The respiratory conditions such as asthma and um, sinitis can, may be helped by inhaling steams, either the eucalyptic leaves in or dropping the eucalyptic oil in and then you inhale the steam. This helps clear your nostrils, clear your lungs by making the mucus and the phlegm that is stuck in the lungs be easier removed. 
using the eucalyptus essential oil and inhaling the steam is a good way to destroy harmful bacteria that can aggravate person that suffers from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which is copd it may also soothe your throat and chest and speed up a healing process from cold or respiratory restriction diseases like copd the two main properties of eucalyptus leaves is treating infection which is, means it's antiseptic and relieving congestion Pro the properties has a supporting compound of eucalyptol tenets, which are the two main ingredients that helps in respiratory improvement using uh, eucalyptic. Eucalyptus is not only a highly antiseptic compound, but also it's a powerful expectorant, meaning that um, it's a compound that is good for breaking up phlegm and mucus that can help clear the airways of the lungs to improve the lung function. Eucalyptic, it also has a, an, another active ingredient that's called tenant, and this is a common plant compound that is also can help with reduction in inflammation, which is swelling. And because of this anti-inflammatory property, eucalyptic can also be used not to treat only respiratory infections and to clear up the lung, but it can also help with people that suffer from swelling of the joints due to inflammation, people that suffer from rheumatoid arthritis and also suffer from fibromyalgia. All of this could be alleviated by using eucalyptic essential oil or the leaves. It's important to know that it can also help with stress relief, right? Because when your body is stressed, that's when inflammation starts to form and this can lead to other medical conditions and other issues so this is a good herb to use to not only help respiratory system which involves your lungs but also helps your joint your mind reduce stress so it can improve your overall function and improve your health although you cannot eat the fresh whole eucalyptic leaf dried leaves can be made into tea be careful not to mistake this tea for eucalyptus oil which can be toxic if consumed so choose a tea that is labeled eucalyptic leaf tea. The eucalyptic oil, you can use it as aromatherapy. So you can add a few drops of, of eucalyptus essential oil into a diffuser or a steam bowl. That's one way of um, doing the aromatherapy. The whole leaves, like I said, you can make tea with them or you can hand them in your shower or add them to your bath for a relaxing spa-like experience that can help cleanse your lungs, relieve stress, that can therefore benefit your overall health. Number six on the list is Mulan. Mulan has been used traditionally as a remedy for lung infection and respiratory tract infection, such as bronchitis, for many years. It works as an expectorant, meaning that it helps expel mucus. Expectorant herbs help loosen the bronchial secretion and makes elimination of the mucus and the phlegm in the lungs much easier, therefore improve breathing. Mulan is a supreme safe and profound respiratory tonic. It helps open the lungs, it helps ease spasms, tightness and cough, and soothes the irritation and dryness of the lungs. Drinking Mulan tea can effectively clear the excessive amount of mucus in the lungs, cleanses the bronchial tubes, and soothes inflammation of the respiratory tract. So any swelling that's going on because of a respiratory illnesses or disease, drinking mulatin can help reduce the inflammation in the lung. Its leaves and flowers are used in the preparation of the potent herbal extract. So you can steep mulan flower and the leaves to make um, herbal tea that can help you improve your lung function, reduce tightness, um, clear your bronchial tubes so you can breathe easy to get oxygen to all the essential organs in the body to help improve your overall health. Because mulin has anti-inflammatory properties, it's very good for reliefing old asthma, bronchitis, congestion. It's sufficient in curing both internal and external infection and therefore can provide relief of muscular cramps, nerve disorders, and can even release stress and anxiety. Because when most people have anxiety, um, their breathing is affected and that's what will make the anxiety worse. So drinking mulan tea is a good way to calm your body, to calm the mind and relieve some of the stresses that are associated with anxiety, respiratory illnesses. Enjoy your mulan herbal tea to help cleanse your lung to improve your overall health. Number seven on the list is ginger. One of the most widely used home remedies 
to cure cough and colds. Ginger has been known for its anti-inflammatory properties, which helps in removing toxins from the respiratory tract, the lungs, and it contains many vitamins and minerals, including potassium, magnesium, beta carotene, and zinc. People that suffer from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD have a very difficult time um, managing because of the shortness of breath that can make even the simplest of tax more physically demanding. There is no cure for COPD, but people that suffer from COPD can relieve their symptoms from this disease by receiving treatment that may help reduce the progression and severity of the disease. Adding ginger to one's diet is a great way of helping to relieve the symptoms of COPD and its complications. Because of the anti-inflammatory property of ginger, it can be used to aid digestion, reduce nausea, help fight flu and common colds, and boost respiratory health. The active essential oil or the active ingredient in ginger is ginger oil. And ginger oil is a compound that has anti-inflammatory properties that help give ginger its medicinal properties. Ginger is considered a spice and it can be used to flavor many foods and help treat many illness. It's important to add ginger to your meal. You can use it to flavor your meat. You can use it in soups, in stews. These are all good ways to incorporate ginger into your diet to get the health benefit. But you can also have ginger as raw, clean, chopped up, and you can have it with honey. And this is also another good way to help improve your respiratory health and to get the benefit from ginger. You can make tea with ginger and so forth. So include ginger into your diet. It will help not only with your respiratory health, but all your overall health. Number eight on the list is turmeric. Turmeric contains curcumin, which is the active compound that's found in turmeric which is a compound of spice that is known to help reduce inflammation or swelling in the lungs. Turmeric can help your body neutralize free radicals such as superoxide, hydroxyl, hydrogen peroxide, and neutralizing these free radicals can help reduce inflammation in the lungs and in the rest of the body. Actin expectorant, it is also important to know that turmeric can help loosen mucus and phlegm um, from the bronchial tubes of all other tubes in the lungs that can help remove all the excess mucus phlegm to help breathing improve. Out of all these spices you could add to your diet, turmeric offers some significant benefit for people with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD patients. For instance, turmeric is a natural anti-inflammatory thanks to its component curcumin that I spoke about earlier. Curcumin is found in turmeric and is an antioxidant, a very powerful one that can help your body neutralize free radicals and improve your overall health. In some studies, Curcumin has been shown to reduce the activity of toxins that create inflammation or swelling um, in the body. It also inhibits the activity of inflammatory enzymes and curcumin may even prevent the activation of inflammation causing protein in the body and therefore improving your overall health by making your lung more relaxed so you can breathe better and prevent complications that's associated with lung disease such as COPD. Turmeric has also shown to break down mucus, like I said earlier, which makes it easier for your body to remove the mucus from its airways. The breakdown of removal of mucus may also help relieve coughing and improve your ability to breathe. You can use turmeric in, in the raw form. You can add them as spice to your meal, to your uh, food. You, if you make smoothie, you can add them to your smoothie. You can use the powder of turmeric powder, which is just as effective. You can add it to milk, to drink, um, let's say before bed, to help people that suffer from in inflammatory diseases such as arthritis and uh, fibromyalgia and other lung diseases like COPD. You can try my ginger carrot turmeric soup, which is a great soup that is very tasty and at the same time has all the anti-inflammatory properties that can help you alleviate pain, help you breathe better and improve your overall health. Number nine on the list is mint. Menthol in peppermint works as a decongestant, shrinking swollen membrane in the nose and making it easier to breathe. And it also helps loosen mucus on phlegm that is collected in the lungs. Peppermint from the mint family may also help prevent a sickness from coming on in the first place. The term mint is an umbrella term for the mentha plant family that includes uh, spearmint, peppermint, orange mint, apple mint, pineapple mint. These are all different types of mint and they're all essential and very important for, your, um, for cleansing your lungs. 
It has a lot of benefit if you introduce them into your cooking, um, if you make tea with them, or if you garnish your food with them. Either way, as long as you're eating the mint family, you are getting all the benefit that is needed to clear up your lung naturally. Mint is a great decongestion. It can help shrink the swollen membrane in the nose and making it easier to breathe. And it also helps loosen mucus from the lung tubes so it's easier to breathe. Not only is mint or the mint family beneficial to your lungs and clearing out the gunk to help you breathe better but it can also help improve your digestion it can help with people that suffer from irritable bowel syndrome or ibs and these are all good ways to introduce mint into your diet in through your food by adding them to smoothies by garnishing your food with it by throwing them in your salad and of course you can make mint tea with them as well and these are all good ways to help boost your boost your immune system and improve your respiratory health as well as other health benefits because of the active ingredient in mint or peppermint it's a natural decongestion and this is why you can find them in many of the chest rubs and cough drops to help open up your lungs to get rid of gunk so you can breathe better peppermint might also have some antiviral qualities if you are around a lot of sick people taking two or three drops of peppermint or mint oil in water can and drinking it may help not only clear your lungs but also boost your immune system you can put peppermint in your pesto for those that love to have pasta put them in your pesto and this is a good way to incorporate mint into your diet to help improve your respiratory health and improve your overall health last but not least on the list is honey i know honey is not a root nor is it a herb but it's an important ingredient to introduce to your diet as it can help cleanse your respiratory system and boost your lung health for those that suffer from asthma uh, which is a chronic lung disease that affects around about 5 to 10% of the world population. It is important to introduce honey into your diet as it has anti inflammatory properties and can help with moving mucus and phlegm from the lungs. Asthma is a condition of inflammation of the airway of the lungs, which causes constant production of mucus, regular coughing, chest congestion, sinus irritation that can lead to severe headaches, shortness of breath other symptoms if you're looking for an alternative medicine for treating your trouble and asthma or chronic illnesses like copd you can introduce honey into your daily life honey for asthma is a better treatment than other extensive conventional medicine the antioxidant properties of honey boost your immune system to protect it from common colds and flu that can trigger asthma honey also clear up your chest congestion the ethelia oil and the alcohol in honey slowly clear up the mucus or the phlegm that's in the throat honey has various minerals and vitamins content that can help boost your immune system honey also help in soothing the membrane in the bronchial tubes and the lungs and help clear it up help you remove mucus so you can breathe better and therefore get all the oxygen that is needed to the vital organs in the body to improve your overall health this is why any of these herbs and roots that i've spoken about if you're making a herbal tea with them you can always add honey to it as a way to get the benefit of the honey plus the benefit of the other herbs and roots that we've talked about to cleanse your lungs naturally to improve your overall health so until next time try some of these herbs and roots that can help cleanse your lungs naturally to help you live a balanced life for those that have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe share and so we can all benefit to work together to live a balanced life until next time take care bye bye Exclusive.